Hi gang, you're going to have to graph a parabola on your uh, last test. So let's just go over the rules of the parabola. The A in front makes it face up or face down. If the A is positive, it's face up. If it's negative, it's face down. If the A is in between uh, negative 1 and 1, something like um, a half x squared, it's going to end up being wide. If it's somewhere in between less than negative 1 or greater than a uh, positive 1, it's going to end up being narrow. Okay, you can look back on the lecture. I wrote out all the steps. Uh, this here moves left or right. This is your left or right. That's what the H is referring to. So if you have something like Y equals X minus 2 squared, negative means you're going to the right. You have something like X plus 2 squared, positive means you're going to the left. And then the K on the end is your up down. If it's positive, then you're going up. If the number added is negative, then you're going down. So just remember, it's the inside that's a little confusing because if it's negative, you're actually going to the right. If it's positive, you're actually going to the left. So it's a negative sort of opposite of what you may think. All right, so those are general rules. You can go back and check them out in the lecture, but that's the gist of it. So you just have to be able to look at something and be able to tell which way it's going. So which way is this one going? Right, this is a K value. So if you wanted to find the vertex, the vertex would be 0, 5. It's, there's nothing inside the X squared, so it's not pushed left or right. It's just pushed up 5. So if I just rough sketch that, the center is at 0, 5. And then if I put like a point on either side, so like if x is 1, 1 squared plus 5 is 6. If x is negative 1, the negative 1 squared plus 5 is also 6. So if I put in something like 1 and negative 1, let me just graph that a little bit better. I'm sort of rough sketching, but I still want to make it a little better. Okay. So it would look like that. It's a uh, parabola pushed up five units. Now this one's on the inside. We just talked about this a minute ago. This would mean this goes to the right. Remember, if it's inside, it's left right. If it's outside of the quad, if it's outside of the quadratic, it's up down. If it's inside the quadratic, it's left right. And then of course you can combine this. So this guy's going to the right. So the vertex on this guy is 2, 0. There's no k value and nobody's nobody's going to write like plus 0 on the outside for you. So if there's nothing on the outside, your k is the outside value. Uh, sorry, 0 is the outside value. Let me just be a little more clear up here. So the vertex is h comma k. So it's the opposite of the inside, same as the outside. So opposite of the inside and the outside, there's nothing there, so it's 0. Okay, so there's my vertex. If I then let x be 0, if I let x be 0, this is negative 2 squared or 4. And then if I do like a point by symmetry, so if this is the axis of symmetry at x equals to 2, the axis of symmetry, and this is 2 units away on this side, so then if I go 2 units away on the other side, and I'm at 4, if I'm at 4, so if I put in 4, 4 minus 2 is 2, 2 squared is 4, so if I'm at 4, 4. Okay, you'll get that. So just as a quick review, I'm going to continue with the video, but just to make sure we're on the same page, this is the vertex form of a parabola. The vertex is the h, k, opposite of the inside, same as the outside. The value, if there's a mul something multiplied in front, it tells you two different things. It tells you if the parabola is face up or face down. Positive is face up, negative is face down. If the value of A is between negative 1 and 1, it's going to be wide. If the value of A is greater than 1 or less than negative 1, it's going to be narrow. Again, H is left or right. If it's negative, you're going to the right. If it's positive, you're going to the left. The value on the end is you're up down. If you're positive, you're going up. 
If you're negative, it's going down. So we did one where it was just pushed up, and then we did another one where it was just pushed to the right. I'm gonna pick up, I have more, I have more examples written here that I wanna go over with you, but I can see the video is already at five minutes. So let me just end this one here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you in the next one.